So, hello guys and welcome to this new video. Uh, first of all, apologies for the late upload time. Uh, I kind of postponed things for a bit. And then it turned out that the video I had planned for the day, like the main point of that video was kind of false. Well, not kind of, it was completely false. And as a result, I felt like I couldn't really make a good video out of that anymore. I may still try to do something with what I had planned with that, but it wouldn't be a good video either way. Just a bit of bits and pieces I have to assemble into a video, I kind of. Um, anyway, but uh, so that didn't work, so I quickly uh, decided to finish this project up. And I think I've got a, well, I've got a product here I can now present. Um, I call it the 0.6, sand, 0.6 seconds uh, sand catapult conveyor. Yes, uh, 0.6 sand, 0.6 seconds, because it accepts one sand every 0.6 seconds. Uh, then sand, because it's catapult sand. It's actually worth noting that it's sand, because um, I'm not sure if it's going to work with gravel, because I know I've... I have reason to believe that like, gravel has falls a bit quicker than sand, not like the falling process, but just like the process of block converting it to an entity. Though I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, either way, I like just don't don't take my word that this will work for sand for for like gravel or a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm just saying this will work for sand. Um, and then catapult conveyor. Well, we're gonna catapult the sand around. Uh, unlike with normal conveyor like here, but I'm still going to call the conveyor because it serves the same purpose, which is to transport sand from one to the other. And with that all that out of the way, let's just quickly show this one in action. Let's press the button. So yeah, as you can tell, sand is nice being, nicely being catapulted from one module to the other. Uh, this is a modular design, I should probably mention that. Um, yeah, that's where it ends, because I put a slab there. If not, it would just continue. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, it works fine. Uh, in fact, I want a screenshot for, for this from this. Hmm. How should I get a screenshot? That should work. All right. Uh, that will be the thumbnail. Yeah, I'm a bit lazy today. <laughs> Either way. Uh, so what should I talk about? Um. So first of all, well, I guess at the beginning. So we simply have a 0.6 second clock here. This command block is placing the sand. Of course, in reality, we use a conveyor. Then it waits for a bit, and it will, and then it fires the sand using these two sticky pistons, these two slam blocks. Then here we get into the first. I'm not sure what to call it. Um, repeater module. I don't know. Like it just takes a sand as an entity, and it catapults that entity again. Um, and yeah, it's really simple as you can tell. Just strip wire. And then this, a repeater, and so on. Quite cheap, I would say. Um, it uses three tile ticks, which is also worth taking into account, because if we can use this for long distances, we want to think about the tile tick limit of 1,000. Basically, that means that the game can only process 1,000 tile ticks per, um, per tick. And what are tile ticks? Well, mm, I'll, I'll link to Marin's video, in which it's not about the tile tick limit, but it's related to it, and he explains it a bit better. And if, so if you don't understand, you can watch that, but yeah. As far as the technical micro is concerned, uh, which I'll also link to, chip wire hooks and um, and repeaters uh, have tactics. So at most it's using three at once, but actually most of the time it isn't probably. So that's how this module looks like. And then over here we've got a special module. Here we go. A lot more expensive, loses lots of repeaters, more tactics. Also more tactics because of sand. It has to fall, which is also requires a Taltic. Um, and yeah, the reason you're probably asking yourself about why would you use this expensive module? Well, the reason is that you may know that sand actually disappears after if it's alive for 30 seconds. Um, let me. See. Basically, I made this conveyor. Well, I can't show the end, but it ends not too much further over there. And I made it end in such a way that basically. Uh, it would just dis the sand would just disappear in midair, and I tested it, and indeed the sand just disappeared after being alive for 30 seconds. So basically, you can't keep your sand in entity form for over 30 seconds, or you lose it. And that's why we have this little spot where it's quickly converted into a block and back into an entity, and it continues its journey. Uh, with the, with a bit of a different design, a bit of a different design with for this one. Um, so it's yes, yeah, fairly expensive, but you only need to use this every 360 blocks or something. Because this goes quite well. Um, 
each of these modules are spaced 27 blocks apart. And with the normal modules, it takes about 43, it takes, in fact, it takes exactly 43 game ticks to go from one to the other. I didn't test how long it takes for to go from this one to the next one because it's special. Um, but yeah, you have to test it for yourself. So maybe I should just turn it off because I actually want to show some more things further down the road and I do not want to unload things because if I unload things, then it will get messy. So, and that's the last one of them. All right, so you may have seen that these looked a bit different. Well, these are some old modules I had. And uh, these also operated uh, fine on 0.5 seconds, uh, a 0.5 seconds period. I didn't end up needing them. I am going to work with a 0.6 second period, but I feel like it's worth noting. Uh, so I will also include this module down in the description for downloads, uh, as well as I'm just going to, I think, assemble a conveyor consisting out of the uh, normal catapulting con module, the uh, special sand block one. I don't know what name. My naming system isn't working out right now. I'm sorry. Uh, and then, of course, also have a, uh, a starting system like over here. But yeah, like basically, I just wanted to wait a quick transport sand. This should work. You may be asking, like, why are you only transporting one sand? This is still pretty slow. Well, welcome to the great world of slam blocks. You can just do this. And that's quite loud. I'm sorry. I just lower all the entire volume. And look at that, we basically got spots for 4 sand, so yeah. I think this is actually be really easily expandable up to like 12 blocks or something. Um, and it gets a bit harder, both at the wiring and the push limit. Um, so I only need 4, so I think this is a great design actually. When it, well great, you can probably make some improvements. But I think this is also a trick, and I will probably end up using this in a final sand uh, farm or generator or whatever you want to call it. Something which I also find worth noting is that I plan on building this on reflex and this would probably be underground. Now with a conveyor like this, this is not a huge issue because it's just four high. You have to dig for a fair bit, but okay. Uh, because here you have to make a lot of room for the sand, as you can tell. Uh, in fact, from here to there, that's 13 blocks. Um, now, of course, you can have the throw it like this height. That also works fine. Then it's 12 blocks. Um, but it's still fairly high. So I went out and actually map, I went and mapped out the exact curve you need to keep the sand alive. If normally, if you place any extra block in here, then the sand will uh, will uh, hit it and uh, fall and mess everything up. So this is the minimal space you need, I think. And I will also include a download for that if you want to work with that. So yeah, you still need to pick. They got a fair bit then, and it's not very easy to navigate through this as a person. But uh, because I mean, you can't just use the thing like. We we we're accelerate we accelerate at very different pace compared to the sand. I can show you. Well, yeah, to see that didn't even work. So maybe I can show it over here. Yeah, as you can tell, it didn't work out very well. So yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, so maybe you would want like a straight tunnel running next to this, so you can easily walk around, or rather run around. Uh, but yeah, that's. Uh, practical issues you have to, we have to look into later possibly but as a just proof of concept it works fine and frankly i think it also has a lot of practical use uh one more thing i should probably mention the reason i went with a module design is partially because of resources because otherwise we would have to have a redstone line running all the way in between here and such also i think delay wise it works a lot better because uh, 43 takes a delay that's a fair bit of repeaters that's like five repeaters um, and if you have to, need to have that in between every one, then you're going to lose a lot more Daltics, and you, the timing is still going to be hard, I think, with 43, you probably need, like, pistons and stuff to do the timing right. It just seemed a bit complicated, and also, like, you would have to have a really long line running around, and I just didn't feel like doing that. So that's why I went with modular design, but it's very much possible that it's a good, let's say, serial, or I don't know what to call it, like, centrally... Um, controlled design which can work out fine as well but I should really stop this video because it's getting really long so thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video even if you didn't, please leave a rating and I hope I will see you in another video